was your culture shock? What was your culture shock? What was your culture shock? Well, thank you for your cooperation. Oh. No worries. Where are you no from? Australia. 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 So which part of Japan are you going to travel this time? So we first we started off in Sapporo in Nisaka. And then we flew down to Hiroshima, then we're going to Osaka, Kyoto, Kanazawa, uh, I think Mirajima as well, Fuji, and then back to Tokyo. So what's your impression about Hiroshima? It's definitely eerie. It's, it's sad. Somber. Mm. Somber. Although it, it's a very beautiful place. Mm. But yeah, like a lot of the, the war history was the reason why I wanted to come here. You went yeah. to the museum? We're, we're about, about to, to go there, yeah. Oh, that's okay. our next stop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today's topic is what was your culture shock in Japan in positive way or negative way? So my biggest culture shock yeah. is there's no bins anywhere. Ah. Very, very <laughs> rare to find a bin. <laughs> yeah. Everything's very clean. <laughs> yeah, see like it's, the, it's a lot more cleaner over here than it is in Australia. Everyone's very respectful. Mm -hmm. Very respectful. How about like, Japanese food? <laughs> so much better man. <laughs> really, really good. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it, man. So good. Breakfast is definitely different. It's a lot more vegetable based. Uh, a lot healthier than most places you'd find in Australia, but it's good. Normally it's just eggs and bacon in Australia, yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, Maybe it's healthier. It, it is 100% healthier. Is healthier. Yeah, very healthy. Last question is, what do you want to say to people who want to come to Japan? You should. Do it. <laughs> the, culture, the culture is amazing and you'll have an absolute amazing time coming here. We're planning on coming back every year. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries, Thank man. You. Anytime. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> no worries. No worries. <laughs> Where are you from? From the UK. England, yeah. How many times have you been to Japan? You did this. I've been to Japan four times now. Yeah. So I currently live in Tokyo. Yeah, you live in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. I've been in four times too. I lived in Fukuoka. For a year, uh -huh. and now I'm just on holiday. Okay. <laughs> Which city do you like the most? I think I'm biased. I like Fukuoka <laughs> <laughs> because I live there. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Again, I'm biased. I like Tokyo the best. <laughs> I live in Tokyo, so mm -hmm. but Osaka is also really nice. Yes, mm. yes, yes. So, what's your impression about Hiroshima? Hiroshima seems quite nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's quite similar to Fukuoka, mm -hmm. I think, where it's big city but it's not too busy yeah this is my first time here so I really didn't know what to expect mm -hmm. but it's very empty I was expecting it to be more busy mm. it's, you know, mm -hmm. because she's from Tokyo right, <laughs> yeah right. so okay. I wasn't yeah. expecting that yeah. but so far it's really nice mm. today's topic is what was your biggest culture shock in Japan it being so quiet on the subway uh -huh. was one of them. People don't talk to each other. Yeah, because in England people talk on the phone, you know, talk to each other uh -huh. a lot. In Japan it's very, very, very quiet. Yeah. I feel bad making any noise <laughs> yeah. at all. You feel a little bit uncomfortable? Not uncomfortable, it's nice. Uh -huh. But it's yeah. like, oh, I don't want to you know, let my phone go off yeah. or anything like that. I don't that. want to talk to you on the train because yeah. I'm worried it <laughs> looks rude. Yeah. What um, about you? Biggest culture shock. Mm. Um, can be like food yeah I think like how normal it is to eat by yourself mm -hmm. yeah. everyone's just doing their own thing you mm -hmm. know the salary men always by themselves eating going to karaoke or even you know going to like game centers it's mm -hmm. common for you to go alone mm -hmm. which I still can't get used to yeah. yeah I feel like I have to go with someone right. mm -hmm. yeah. otherwise I look maybe like lonely or something uh -huh. so, yeah. the last question is what do you want to say to people who want to come to Japan maybe learn a little bit of Japanese yeah even if it's just a little bit mm -hmm. yeah. it helps a lot because I find talking to convenience store people mm -hmm. quite nerve-wracking so if you know ja a little bit of Japanese I think okay. that's best yeah yeah I'd say the same learn the basics mm -hmm. um, just so that you can have the level of politeness as well lots of people can speak English but if you know like those simple things you'll be okay mm -hmm. but it's not that scary people speak English you will have a good time so yeah. just just come yeah and people are nice enough that it's people like, are so nice I, I wish that was like an over exaggeration but yeah huh. but they're very accommodating really nice. yeah. <laughs> okay thank you so much thank for you your time. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs> 
but thank you for cooperation. Where are you guys from? Barcelona, Barcelona. Spain. Spain, yeah. yeah bienvenidos. Gracias. Thank you, gracias. ¿Cuánto tiempo viene de Japón? Venimos en total 11 días. We started here, Hiroshima, then Osaka, Kyoto, Kyoto. Mm -hmm. and then Tokyo. Tokyo. What was the biggest culture shock uh, in Japan? The 7 Eleven. <laughs> no, I think what we were. We got here yesterday. What most shocked us is how um, friendly everyone is. Yeah, like, compared to Spain. Yes, like everyone is very helping at the border control at at the um, at the moment from the moment we arrived to the airport mm. to the moment we took the first train. Okay. Everyone was helping and yeah. inviting us and smiling the whole time and and open to help. Mm. And uh, if they didn't know what to do, they uh, looked for someone who could help us. So this was uh, super nice and, and uh, a not shock the for same us because in Spain, Spain we're really? not uh, used to this and, and okay. we're a little bit more uh, closed down <laughs> when, when foreigners come sometimes. So did you have any negative culture shock so far? Um, no, no, I didn't. Really. Do you? No, no, yeah. So far not. So far no. <laughs> we're still getting used to everything. What do you want to say to people who want to visit Japan? Ah, change money. Because ah, okay. <laughs> we thought you can pay everywhere by card. Uh -huh. But there are a lot of restaurants who are not accepting, they are only accepting cash. Yeah, yeah. So to change <laughs> money before, this would have been nice. And um, what else? Mm, that's it. That's it? No more no, less. We, and have fun? I think we'd have yes. to ask us in a week. <laughs> We've been more days here. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, You're thank welcome. you very Thanks much. Eh? Bye, bye, thank bye. you. <laughs> thank you for cooperation. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Russia. Russia. So, which part of Japan are you trying to visit this I'm time? I'm trying to go everywhere. I've been traveling um, already for two weeks, and I've been in Hokkaido area, Hakodate, Sapporo, uh, Tokyo area, um, um, Kyoto. And now I'm heading to south, the Kyushu mm. part, yes. So far, which city was your favorite? Uh, Arashiyama in Kyoto huh? Prefecture, yeah, this is a nice one. And um, um, Kawagoya in Saitama Prefecture, huh? yeah, beautiful. I love those uh, rural rural um, uh, buildings. Yes. So yeah, that's, I like small uh, small towns, not like, uh, not like Osaka or uh, Tokyo, some smaller. So what, what was your impression about Hiroshima? Uh, I just started. Yes. Uh, I arrived yesterday, so so far I like the city. And you know the weather is very nice today. Uh, well, I, I like it. I like it. And actually I'm going to Miyajima Island after, after Hiroshima. Hiroshima, it's warmer area here in Japan. Yeah, it's, I know. The climate is good. So today's topic is what was your culture shock? Oh, well, this is my second time in Japan, so I, uh, probably I know a lot of, about um, Japanese culture. My first time when I came here, it was weird for me to go upstairs on the left side, because Europeans, you know, they, uh, they go on the right side, but it's different here. <laughs> and I love uh, to -to toilets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are amazing. Did you have any negative culture shock? Uh, Something. No different from you expected? No, so far not. I'm in love in Japan, so I don't have any negative experience so far, but I know that there are some bad sides in every country, but I haven't seen one here so far. How so. about food? I love, I love sushi and sashimi. I eat it every day. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love. But you know, you have lots of um, greasy um, fried stuff, uh, tempura okay. stuff, which is not healthy, okay. but delicious as well. Yeah. The last question is, what do you want to say to people who want to visit Japan? Any uh, advice? A be open-hearted, open-minded and just follow the rules uh, which Japanese created. Don't break the rules. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would recommend. Um, and enjoy your stay here. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you for cooperation. Okay, no problem. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Brazil? Yes. So, how many times have you been to Japan? It's my first time here in Japan, yeah. For well, how long are you going to stay here? Oh, just for two, two weeks. Which part of Japan are you traveling to? I've been traveling to Tokyo, mm -hmm. Kyoto, and then we come from Kobe, 
and now we're here. Ah, okay. here when you are going back to Latvia? Uh, just uh, next week. Next, next week, yes. Okay. So today's topic is what was your culture shock in Japan? Here in Japan, mm -hmm. uh, I think everything is very clean. You people are very polite in, in the street, mm -hmm. and it's a very quiet place. Mm -hmm. So I think most countries outside uh, Japan, uh, the cities are very crowded as well as Japan, but the traffic is is very noisy and people talk a lot in the subways and in the streets. So I think here in Japan the the, the biggest culture shock was the, the quietness of the place. Yeah, yeah and the, how well organized it is. Mm -hmm. How about Hiroshima? Oh, it's my first time here yes. also. And uh, I just left the hotel, so it, this is my first impression okay. here. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Quiet. Yeah, it's also quiet and it's a very, very beautiful place. And did you have any negative culture shock? Uh, I think just as well as people are very quiet, I think they don't communicate a lot with one another, so probably I think this is uh, a bad thing. I think in other parts of in other countries people talk a lot because they are kind of uh, very well connected between them, so I think as the kind of uh, social distance here in Japan must be bigger than other countries also. Right. The last question is what do you want to say to people who want to visit Japan? Oh, it's, it's an amazing Japanese. country. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's, it's very different. The food here is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking it a lot. And uh, you must come to see, you must come to, to be here for, for some weeks to really appreciate. Tokyo is a huge city. It's a, huge metropolis as I never seen before and I think you, you will enjoy Tokyo as well as the, the countryside and smaller cities such as Kobe and such as Hiroshima so come to Japan it will be amazing yes thank you so much oh, no problem thank you for cooperation where are you from I am from uh, from the Netherlands how many times have you been to Japan uh, this is my first time actually for how long are you Staying here. Uh, I've been here for a week. Mm -hmm. and I'll be staying uh, for two more weeks, uh, ah, three weeks. So, which city are you going to? I Tokyo? came from Tokyo, uh, now in Hiroshima, and I'm also going to Kyoto, uh, Osaka, uh, Nara, and Kobe. What was your impression about Hiroshima? Uh, very quiet, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> I think in general, this far, I found uh, Japan to be very quiet. Yes. Uh, I really like that. It's different from Netherlands. Yeah, the Dutch are f uh, much more busy, the, <laughs> the cities and the environment. Yeah. So today's topic was, what was your culture shock in Japan? So do you have any positive or negative culture shock here? Maybe uh, the door frames are very small. I'm uh, very tall, so mm -hmm. I have to bend uh, everywhere. <laughs> also the showers and the, the beds. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are you? Um, one meter uh, 88, uh, okay. yeah, something like this. <laughs> so how about Japanese food? Uh, Do you enjoy Japanese food? Or? Yeah, I love it. Uh -huh. uh, I think in, uh, in the Netherlands we already mm -hmm. uh, know uh, some of uh, the, the Japanese uh, kitchen quite well. Mm -hmm. uh, but then to be here and to actually uh, taste it, it tastes here uh, already a lot better than in the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, do you speak any Japanese? A little bit. Uh, uh, some like uh, single words, yeah. Uh, uh, ohayou gozaimasu. Exactly. <laughs> Domo arigato gozaimasu. So the last question is, what do you want to say to people who want to come to Japan? Any advice? Don't hesitate and don't be afraid about not speaking the language. Uh -huh. uh, because uh, I found all the, the people in Japan to be very helpful and very kind. Uh -huh. uh, and even with the language barrier, I was uh, able to uh, uh, yeah, to enjoy my visit. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Finland. So today's topic is, what's your biggest culture shock in Japan? Our biggest culture shock? I don't think I was like really shocked by anything. It's so similar to like how it's in Finland, in the sense that like people like give space to other people. And I mean, yeah, maybe the thing that when you go to like um, a store huh. and um, you, let's say you're 
you buy something and it costs you like 568 yen or something and you give them a thousand yen bill mm -hmm. and then they are like waiting for you to say like I, I'm, it's fine you can take the money and like do the counting and stuff like that yeah. or you could like start adding your like smaller coins to like them give you an even amount or something and like that was super confusing for me the first time but I got used to it quite quick you pay by cash yeah I use ca cash quite a lot while I'm traveling I, I just feel it feels safer for me so yeah I just do that so it's different in Finland uh, yeah like it's mostly people just pay by um, cards like maybe older people will use cash but not too many younger people use cash anymore I mean I al always have cash with me because you know cards might not work or mm. you know something might break but the last question is what do you want to say to people who want to come to Japan mm, I think people who want to come to sh Japan they should do it they st should absolutely do it it's um I've been loving it so far and I think if you have more than a week or two, I think you should visit something else beside like all the neon lights in, in Tokyo and Osaka and see something like um, Shimanami Kaido and like do the cycling route or just drive through it. Um, I think that's something I would really recommend for people to do if they come visit Japan. Thank you so much. <laughs> no worries.